Stunts family house built in 1917 by Anne's grandfather. Currently, the Swanson family lives here amidst the fading splendors abandoned by previous residents. Most recently, Anne's parents, Mayo Stunts, and his wife Connie. We'll take a leisurely tour of the house, lingering in each room to examine and comment on some of those splendors. But first, we'll take a walk around the ground. You may be wondering what this object is, covered with a blue tarp. Let's take the tarp off so we can get a better view. That's better. As you can see, it's a small cannon, probably a mortar, which has been sadly neglected and is in need of repair. Legend has it that this very gun destroyed an entire Yankee platoon during the Civil War. But let's move on to more pleasant things. Here's the house from the rear. Notice the rightmost dormer. That's where I'm staying. It was destroyed by a falling tree not long ago, but has been repaired. Notice the small white mass on the ground. That's where the Swansons get their wool. Yes, it's a sheep. A huge one. Probably the mother of all sheep, or maybe the father. Two smaller ones are wandering around here somewhere. This is actually an ecological preserve. Five acres of woodland set in the middle of a suburb. Deer make their home here. Also a fox, to the annoyance of the chickens, which provide the family with eggs. While I was here, the fox got into the chicken coop and traumatized the rooster. You can see him here, still afraid to come out. Luckily, the boys scared the fox off before he could do any real harm. Let's go now to the front of the house with its guardian lions. Not those lions. I mean these two statues. Maybe the kitties are guarding the lions. Here's Brad's jeep. He bought this in Liberia while he was with the Diplomatic Corps, then escaped Africa by driving it across the Sahara Desert. He had it shipped across the Mediterranean to France, and the State Department obligingly sent it to the United States for him. Time for the house tour now. We'll stop and interview family members from time to time as we go. Uh-oh, wrong house. I used that one in my Lightning Bugs movie. Here we are in the living room. That's Lelon at the grand piano. We'll hear her play as we go on our tour. I want you to pay particular attention to the pictures and books that you'll find in every room. Now the elegant dining room. We spent one enjoyable evening playing poker at this very table. Oh, it's time to meet some people. I'll let the original soundtrack play for a few moments. Hey, Jim! Yeah, exciting. He's uh, around here. Is he? Oh, my God! <laughs> oh! He's been doing this all day. <laughs> right? <laughs> there we go. Jim, my sister-in-law, Liz. Liz. Hi, Jim. <laughs> One moment. Yeah? I have to fade out properly here. The charming woman in the doorway was Anne's sister-in-law. The young man trying to stop the filming is my grandson John Bradley Swanson, 15, also known as Jay. He plays drums and hopes to start a band. 
Before moving on, let me show you the back porch where we ate most nights. This object is a barbecue covered with a cozy. I've decided to start at the top of the house now and work my way down. As you will see, I didn't lack for company. Sorry about the machine gun pace here, but I now realize that a leisurely tour is out of the question. There's just too much to cover. Here's a curious little game that Lelon is going to explain to me. Foosball? Yeah, you uh... Hmm. The goal is, is to get the ball um, in the little... past the goalie, right right here. I see. And into the little wooden... Well, where goal. is the uh, computer? <coughs> it doesn't work on a computer? Uh... You mean you have to work it manually? Yeah, it's, it's uh... this is... we're very lucky to witness uh, this type of machine because you don't, it's not electric at all. Wow. In fact, there's no computer, hmm. there's no circuit board, there, there's nothing really, there's not even, there's, there's not even like a, a, a little bit of electricity involved. You don't even have to plug it in. It's amazing. It is amazing. Um, as you can see, to make the ball go into the, the arena, uh -huh. the, the field, the uh -huh. playing field, yeah. you manually just toss it in. My goodness. Yeah. And um, and in order to control your players, instead of typing in some buttons, you turn these knobs. No. And um, as you can see, the players are attached I see. to to this uh, this uh, metal rod, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you turn the knob is the, the, the player makes a motion as to uh, almost as, as if he's kicking the ball. Well, now that's very clever. It is very clever. They ought to computerize that. They, they ought to computerize it. Um, but I think part of the joy in having this not be electric, not be computerized at all, yes. is, is you get to we're turn it to yourself. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're caught in the act here. Um, oh, we're playing foosball. So just wrapping this up. Yes. Um, completely manual. Uh-huh. As you can see, um, the player doesn't actually kick the ball, mm -hmm. but you tilt the player so to motion as it oh, is. Oh, I see. So yeah. Well, that's most ingenious. Maybe yeah. they shouldn't computerize it. You know, this is one of those things where I think it's, it's best left as is. Yes, yes, I agree. I've counted five computers in this household, meaning there's one for each person. Not bad. I think there are more computers than TV sets, which says something. I'm not sure what it says, but it's got to say something, right? Fortunately, I managed to catch Brad and Ann going about their everyday activities, as you can see here. Hello. Look at our, look at our new purchase. Our new wow. oh my gosh. seat. <laughs> Great. How wonderful. So we, here we have the Swansons at home working around the clock to maintain this magnificent residence. Mm. Yeah, to, to keep it standing. Keep it standing, right. Okay. Would you like to make any more comments about that? I don't really know how, this is the most photographed, photogenic part of the house. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're zooming in on you right now. Oh, so. well, that's good, yeah. I'm the most photogenic part of the house. Say hello to uh, hello the camera. The and, uh, and then here's the other photogenic part okay. of the house. Okay. This is going to end up, you understand, on uh, the internet all over the world. Great. Oh. So uh, well, make things. sure that you edit this part out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They can they can send us donations at uh, jbradswanson@aol.com. Okay. All currencies go. accepted. There you go. Okay, we're fading out now. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that just about wraps it up. Uh oh, looks like an accident right in front of the house. Brad says not to worry. It happens all the time, ever since the dirt road was replaced with a superhighway. But that's progress. Okay, time to wrap all this up and get back to more important things like Scrabble. Be good. Okay. Let your natural antipathy show through. I have too few pictures of Steve. Most of them are showing him with his nostrils expanded artificially. Steve, you here? Look at, look at the camera. He doesn't hear very well, I say again. What? Do not expand your nostrils. 
Steve. Look at, just look, look at the camera. Look at the camera and frown. Really good frown. Come on. Look at frown. Look at frown. Frown. There you go. I want you to look natural. <laughs> okay, Aww. Steve. Thank you. Okay, that'll do. All right. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Over and out. Uh, okay, over and, and out.